This is A Night on the Farm. I had so much fun playing this game and I hope you have just as much fun watching it. Thank you so much, Frozen Flame Interactive, for giving me an opportunity to play this game. A Night on the Farm is an atmospheric, first-person, retro-inspired horror adventure with deep lore and surprising plot twists. Uncover the mystery surrounding your crashed car and the farm's inescapable draw. Discover cryptic notes and audio logs as you gain access to something redacted and make decisions that alter the story's outcome. Seriously, there's a lot of mystery to this game. It's definitely one of those slow burns, but as it gets going, it really goes in depth and has something special about it. I enjoyed so much playing this game. I'll shut up, we'll get right into it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. My name's Mr. Miko, enjoy the video. How do we get here? Ooh, looks like we crashed. So the sprint is off. We might need to change that. There we go. Yeah, we changed. All right, we changed that. What do we have back here? Yeah. Ooh, looks like we. Oh man, this is. We're messed up here. There's no. There's no fixing that. No, we don't even have a, a spare tire. And if we did, uh, there's no, there's no fixing that. This seems like a terrible place to be. Oh my goodness. I've seen stuff like this. I, I, have, I don't know if you've ever seen stuff like this. And I've stayed at uh, campgrounds. Because if you don't know, I, I, well, I guess I recently stopped. But I lived on the road full time for almost three years. And I've seen stuff like this at nighttime. And it is very eerie and very creepy. Oh man, is that fog coming in? The car is still on though. I feel like that's something. Hmm. Should we go up there? Should we try to go up there? Or... Probably a house. Hello? Hello? I crashed my car. On your fence, somehow. Oh, let's stay on the road, maybe. Yeah, let's stay on the road. I mean, I've seen some... Like, living on the road full-time, I've seen some really creepy places. Uh... I would love to know, what are some of the creepiest places you've ever seen, like, in real life? I know for a fact, I'll tell you right now, I would never, ever leave my vehicle. <laughs> uh, I've actually been broken down in some pretty dodgy places, too. The craziest place I've ever bro uh, broken down was uh, south of Joshua Tree. Our suspension snapped on our trailer, and we had to wait uh, several days to get the parts. We had to drive 39 miles to the nearest town to get the parts, and there we are, just in the middle of the desert, fixing the suspension. Uh, it was, uh, actually one of the nicest places to ever break down, I will admit. That's... Doesn't look safe to me, but let's go on ahead, uh, let's check out this light. Did you do anything with this? Oh. Those little plots of dirt? All right, we're going. Sorry for the weird cut, if there was a weird cut there. I just wanted to make sure my footage was working. I'm still figuring out how to use OBS Studio. Hello? Is anyone home? I ruined your fence. I don't hear anything. Not even a dog. You would think there'd be a dog or something. Someone to greet me. What is that? Oh. Uh, I'm already, I'm already, sp I've already spooked myself. The, the auto save just spooked the crap out of me. Locked. Ooh, what is this? Key items. So inventory. Controls. Key items. Unknown item. This item has not been discovered. Okay. I just did that by hitting... Oh, I see. If I had one of those items, then I would be able to select. So I need a key. We need a key. We need a key. If I was a key... I would be under my feet. Forced that rhyme now, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> Let's go over here. Boxes on pallets. Hello? Boxes on pallets. Barrels. What are those barrels of? Does this open? Is that a security camera? Hello? Can you help me? I crashed my car into your fence. Oh, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Hello? 
Huh? Where the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay. Noise kind of went away a little bit. What's this? Alex, I need you to change out the electric lock on the kitchen door with a mechanical one and hide a spare key close by. Maybe stick it under one of those big rocks behind the garage or something. Yeah, it's against protocol, but I'm sick of getting locked out every time the damn thing decides to malfunction en masse. Bill, P.S. There's a spare flashlight in the drawer here. I don't know where that accent came from, but that's Bill for you. Yes, flashlight. Oh, there we go. Lumens! Close that. All right, don't, don't pop out, don't pop out. Huh, okay, they're just pixelated cubes. Look delicious though. Nothing? Nothing? I got a WD-40 that. Mm-hmm. You know, a guilty pleasure of mine is going to my in-law's house and just WD-40ing their hinges because I just, that would drive me crazy hearing cabinet hinges opening all the time. So like I just go by and I like try to fix little things every so often, like little things, things that they wouldn't notice but I feel like would make better quality of life, like WD-40 hinges, you know? Tightening the bolts on their doorknobs so that way they don't jiggle loose. So I don't know, I'm just weird like that. Okay, so it said to go to the back. Let's sprint since, ah, ooh, ah! Maybe let's not sprint. Oh, my light bulb, jeez. Ugh. I'm too jumpy for this right now. Hmm. Hello? Hello? If you're home, I, I dug through your stuff. I took a flashlight. See, this, this would drive me crazy. This would drive me absolutely nuts. Knowing that it's sitting here, you got these little hinges. What are these? You got six screws. That's all. That's all you got to do. Get some screws. You know what I mean? You can take one from there, one from there, one from there. If you don't have screws, just take one from each one. Just fix that. That's all you got to do. It drives me nuts. <sighs> I got to calm down. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting worked out. <laughs> all right. Push that over. Give me that key. There we go. Can we push anything else over? They said there was something else there, right? Let's check out the, uh, the old inventory. Just a spare flashlight. So that was the key probably to get into the house, right? And we couldn't, that was locked? Let's go up. Check this door. That didn't work. Right? Yeah, it's still locked. <sighs> Breathe. Everything's gonna be okay. We're just gonna go into this house. That doesn't really do much outside. <laughs> Uh, let's see, hold on, real quick, if we're gonna be creeping, ooh, just the, oh, man, let's see if we can't see anything in the blinds, let's just, hello? Hello? I crashed my car, I'm lost. Crashed my car into your fence, I'd like to fix it. Probably want to fix your light bulb and fix that window panel over there, too, it's kind of... That's just a me thing, though. I'm just weird. Not so weird that I'm... I guess I am looking in your windows, if you can hear me. Ugh. Not making a good case for myself, huh? Alright, well, I found your found your key. I'm gonna enter your house now. That didn't work. Just kidding. I'm not gonna enter your house. Maybe the side door? I'm, if I could turn this light on, I'm going to turn this light on, too. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. This is uh, so loud to me. I'll probably have the volume down for you, but it is so loud to me. All right, so PS08. I wonder what that stands for. 
stands for something. What do you think it stands for? PS08. I don't know, like, also, like, do you... There's addresses, like, in the world that have letters, right? That starts with letters instead of, just, like, straight numbers. Anyway, I wonder if that's a little Easter egg. Okay, I'm entering your house now. Sorry, I'm just talking a lot. I'm just going to close this, too. I don't know if you got your heater on or something. Don't want you to lose your heat, if that's how that works. Unless it goes outside first, right? Thermodynamics, is that what that is? Heat travels out. Oh, no! Tool! The dryer was acting up again, and well, it turns out the key holder isn't strong enough to hold the wet towels. Whoops! The towels tore the darn thing right off the wall, and I don't have time to fix it. This place is a mess, so I'm just going to put the keys in the cabinet with the meds. Karen. P.S. Has anyone seen the generator key? It was here with the shed key. <laughs> oh. I don't know how many more of those I got in me, but that's pretty fun. All right, so let's go to the cabinets. Oof, light switch. Did that turn anything on? Nothing. Okay, we just gotta rely on our flashlight. What about this? Got a light here? Ooh, turn on. Is that supposed to be on? Oh. I hope nothing happens to our flashlight. Let's close this. It says it's on. Let's... It says it's on. Just have to trust that it's on. Dragonfly? Is this... This is on? It's an electric stove. So electric... Let's close that. Open. Nothing? Nothing? Why'd the music turn off? Hmm? Hello? Okay. Whew. Oh. Anything in there? Lots of boxes. What do they do here? Like, they got a lot of boxes. Either they order a lot of stuff from, uh, you know, the internet, or maybe they're a reseller. They just, they ship out a lot of stuff. You know, this is just all money to them. Let's close that. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, here we go. More food. Yeah, okay. Man, it's kind of, kind of sad, you know? They don't have enough food in here. You know, I personally, like, I am a, a fan of having some kind of protection on you in, like, situations like this, though I've almost never, actually, I can for sure say that I've never been in a situation like this, but I would be grabbing one of these cans to just be lobbing at things, because that's where my brain goes. I don't know where your brain goes. Ooh, no! Karen, Alex, whoever sees this first, I had to run downstairs for an emergency meeting with Lee. Can you file this tape away with the other one in the office? I'll get back to it later. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> uh, hopefully that was the same voice as before. Ooh, a cassette tape. Take, take. Can we play that? Is this thing even recording? Okay. Where do I start? Um, this feels a bit awkward. <laughs> I guess I should say, well, if I'm being honest, I guess I'm nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I should say. I don't want anyone to think I'm having second thoughts about this. Guys, I'm totally not having second thoughts, okay? But let's be real, this is, well, it's super fringe, right? I guess I'm torn between feeling like I drew the short straw and feeling like I'm obviously the best one to go through with this. <sighs> Either way, the tapes are probably a good idea. I get it. I really do. But, um, this is probably it for the first one. Bill, let me know if this is okay. Um, bye. <laughs> that was actually really well done. I, uh, much, much better than my voice acting, if you can't tell. Hello? That's really cool, though. I love that. Are those eyes? Whoa, whoa. No. No, 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 no. I have goosebumps. Are those candles or, the, or are those eyes? 
Is that a fan? Am I freaking out for no reason? Ah! What's that? What's behind us? Let's unlock this door so we have another place to run. Oh, I can't do that? Oh boy, we can't do that. What's this? Ooh, a light bulb. I can go fix that one in, in the garage. I kind of feel bad about that. What's this? A key card. Muchos gracias. Can that do anything? A key card marked PS08. I found it in the living room. Yes, yes we did. Very absorbent. What's this? I'm taking some of your stuff. I'm assuming you're a reseller, so you probably just found this at a thrift store. A strange toy. Strange toys collected. One of 13. Ooh. Yeah, I'll probably get about $9.99 plus shipping for that one. But, you know, the buyer would pay for the shipping. Priority mail. So they'd, they'd probably under one pound. So it probably cost less than $5 or so. Well, that's kind of cool. Kind of creepy now, actually. Ooh. Okay, out the window? We got anything? Hmm. Oh, we just gotta look at whatever that is. Huh! Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it. At first I was thinking maybe it's just a fan. And it's on, so the red light is on or something like that. Nope. That was definitely something. That was a creature. It's a creature of some kind. Let's turn this on. On. Okay. 201. 201? Mm-hmm. Let's turn let's get these lights on. Let's let's not get these lights. Is there a circuit board somewhere we can maybe flip some switches, you know? Sink? Can we open this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. At least they're stocked, you know. I would hate to run out of toilet paper. Especially on the road, you know, full time. You gotta use special toilet paper. Anything behind this door? It's absurdly expensive. Uh, but we buy stuff that's like made out of bamboo. Not that, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just a little nervous. I just keep talking because I'm a little, <laughs> a little nervous. Uh, they put the toilet seat down. That's good. Someone trained this person well. Sorry, sorry I'm just a little jaded. My wife trained me to do that. Wow, that's full. Oh, that reminds me. I have to do laundry. Uh, okay. Ooh, another toy. Bam. Now, we can sell it for $15, because now it's a collection. A bulk buy. Alright, let's close this. Just remind me that we're closing all of these doors. Every single time. Okay. So 202 and 203. Let's do... Let's do 202 first. Oh, do I need to use this? Doesn't work like that. Maybe this key? Nope. Okie dokie. This one? Hmm. Oh wait, is the key card maybe for the door? Oh yes, thank you. Yes, I love that. Hello? I'm gonna close that. Good, 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 good. So that's not open, that's not open. Oh. I'm not leaning back, you're leaning back. What is that? Las Vegas? What are we doing? What are we what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Ooh, look at this DVD collection they got going on here. Oh, the DVDs behind the DVDs? Yo, you need more cabinets. Yeah, I'm beginning to think maybe they're not a reseller. Maybe they're a collector. Hmm. All right, we got to find stuff. Oh, okay. The keys are probably in the cabinet with the meds. Oh, here's, the, here's where the breaker box would be, right? That's what it looks like. That's where that would be, kind of. You know, just give a little switch, 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 switch. That's, I don't know, that's the sound breakers make to me in my head, I guess. Not, no, that's, that sounds like a pew, pew. I don't know what I'm doing. Cabinets. 
Well, with the meds, maybe in- oh, the bathroom. El baño! Ah, here we go. Ah, yes. A good hiding spot. Ooh! A note! To- oh! I almost washed another key card today. I shouldn't have to say this, but being on laundry duty doesn't make me your mom. You need this thing. Fetch it out of the hamper yourself. Karen. That is something that Karen would say. What do we got here? Amphetamines? Probably shouldn't say. I don't know if it... Let's close this. Close! Alright, well, I guess you're just open then. Drives me nuts. Ah. Alright, so that key... We need that key for... Oh. One of these doors. Let's try 203. Locked. Oh, <laughs> that was 202. I can't read numbers. Also not that one. What else was locked? The shed. Is it? You see that? Oh! <laughs> oh, that light fixture just scared the crap out of me. Alright, so, whoop! Oh, okay, it's nothing. Checking on the roof if you're up there. Hey, bear! Or alien, or whatever the hell you were. Giant dragonfly moth creature. I'm gonna run. This is me sprinting full speed. Open. Oh! <laughs> Every single time. It's just so loud to me. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, another cassette? No. A key card. Nice. Okay. Fuel, gasoline, a jerry can. Let's close this. More jerry cans. Ooh, a toy. Oh, yeah. Now we got three of them. Yeah, we're going to make so much money after we sell these. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I'm going to go to the dollar store. I'm going to feel rich. That looks like a little person, doesn't it? It's just corn. I do not need to freak out. I'm leaving that open. So it seems counterintuitive. Why have a door? I guess because the garage is here, right? Maybe put the door in the What's that? Put the door in the back. I gotta stop judging the way this layout of this, this house is. I'm back inside. I have a key card. For room 202. Oh, it's probably not this one. It doesn't have a thingy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Ah. Hello? I'm friendly. I just broke your fence. And stole some of your toys. And opened some of your doors. That's all. I didn't do a thing, and I kind of want to flip your breaker switch. Let's read this note. Alex, to all, two things. I wanted to relax with the movie before heading down to work, but I can't find the TV remotes anywhere. Did we accidentally pack them? Two, I'm not sure if where I should report this because it sounds a bit crazy, but I swear I saw Jamie in the corner of the yard tonight, kind of by the shed but where the fence runs along the cornfield. Weird, right? P.S. I still can't get over how good those DVDs look. And the sound, too. Alex. Everyone likes a postscript, you know what I mean? I don't know why everyone's postscripting in this farm. Yo. You got two queen beds? Is that what this is? You got two queen beds? This room would be gigantic if you just got rid of one of those and just got a bigger bed. Just throwing that out there. 
Oh, don't go. What's this? Huh. Oh, another doggo. Oh, cutie. <gasps> woof, woof. Oh, toy! Can't do anything with these beds. Oh, look at that. They tuck, they tuck the sheets underneath the bed. Drives me crazy. My wife does this. Like her side, it'll be like tucked like this, and then my side, I'll just have it all over the place. In fact, we don't even sleep with the same blankets, because I just, it just drives me nuts. I have like three blankets, because I, I want one blanket for my feet, one blanket for my midside, and then one blanket just all over the place. Just, just, just nah. Anyway, enough of me, enough about me. Well, uh, here's a, ooh, another switch. Open. Hmm. I was kind of expecting this to be a door to the outside. I don't know why I was thinking that. This is a huge closet. Jeez. Louise. Anything in these boxes? That's... What's... Why is that locked? What's in there? Hmm. What's this? Key card. I'll have to take another one. It's probably for the other room. Every time I see a little red dot now, I'm just a little paranoid. That it's whatever that dragonfly creature is. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah. Ha! No! No, 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 no. Nope! Nope! Absolutely not. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. I want nothing to do with that. I just broke the fence, stole a few toys. I'm gonna give you some of the proceeds. I'm okay. This closet is big enough. I could live here for a little while. I'll get some of those canned beans and we'll be good. I do not want anything to do with whatever that was. <sighs> okay, we're going. Hello? Hello? If you're mad at Alex or Bill or Karen, I'm not them. I... Like... Aliens. And monsters. Not the right one? Oh, open. Wait, what? There we go. I would like to be your friend if you are friendly. I don't care about these people. They're all crazy. They're all lunatics. I hate them. I hate them as much as you hate them. Unless you love them, then I love them too. Let's check out this room. What was that? Switch? On. Though I don't think it does much. Ah! It kind of looks like my computer. <laughs> what else we got in here? More notes? Another very serious DVD collection. <laughs> Fun fact, I sell books, CDs, and DVDs on a certain online website. I don't want to say because I don't know like how that like works, but like I actually do this for a living. <laughs> Have done it for years. That's how I'm able to live on the road full time. Fun fact. What else is in here? A closet? Can't turn that one on, huh? One, two, three, go! What do we have in here? Nothing. Gotta be something in one of these. Ooh, here we go. Take that cassette. Let's close that. Let's just go through the rest of these real quick, just in case, and then we'll we'll get to that cassette. <laughs> Definitely not stalling to find out what's going on with this mystery. What are these? Let's do it. Today was 
normal-ish. I talked with Bill for a while. It felt good. It felt normal. Like he wasn't going through his checklist for once. It felt like it used to. Like we were friends. Did you know he used to be big into traveling? Yeah, I guess he's been all over the world. God, I should have traveled more. Ah, I'm talking like it's all over. It's not. But things definitely feel different. I've been having these strange dreams. Here's one. It's kind of mundane, but possibly worth mentioning. I was walking to the house. But I mean, like, literally, I could walk through the wall. I could see Karen was stacking boxes in the living room, and Bill slid something behind one of the pictures in the hallway. Mm -hmm. I think they were arguing about something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear Lee keeps ordering them around, so maybe it was something about that? Who knows? I think that's all for now. I, I feel like I can hear something on the left, on the left side. So when we leave this, when we leave this cassette, expect something to pop out of this. Ah, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, see, Bill sounds, Bill sounds like he might have lost his uh, marbles a little bit. Ooh, a toy! How many do we have now? Five. Nice. So Bill traveled the world, huh? Yeah, it's so cool. Where would you go if you could go somewhere? If you could travel, like if you would do something like that? Hello? So I wonder if Bill took all these photos then. Sorry if there's a weird cut. I have uh, two dogs. One, Miss Leche Mustachio, and the other one, Mr. Mochaccino. Miss Leche Mustachio came barreling at the door to let me know that Mr. Mochaccino was being an absolute menace. And it's also dinner time, so they were uh, uh, bothering me about that. I got two dogs. Mrs. Uh, Miss Leche Mustachio is my ride or die, and Mr. Mochaccino is an absolute jerk. But he's a puppy, he's like eight months. It's good to know that I'm not the only one looking through windows at this house, you know? It makes me feel like I'm not alone. What's this? That's just exposed. Someone's stealing cable, I think. Where does this go? Why are we following this? Uh, ooh, a generator. None of, none of those? All right, we need a key. We need a gen, oh yeah, we gotta get this bad boy going. Yeah, baby. Huh? Oh, okay, there's nothing. All right, where, if you were a key for a generator lock, where would you be? I would be underneath a rock, maybe? I would be on a key ring, actually. <gasps> the key ring! Let's go! Wait, I think... Oh! Yeah, that was kind of kind of glitched there, huh? Requires power. I got you now. Okay. Okie dokies. Look at us. Big brain. What are we missing? We're missing something here. One would think you'd be able, you should be able to see it from here, right? Wherever it is. Whatever it is. Hold on now. Smooth brain. My brain, my brain's smooth. Really making me question reality right now. Let's go back out over here. They said in that one thing that they thought they saw them. Right, let's, let's take a look at that again. Oh, Bill slid something behind the picture in the hallway. Oh, God. Mr. Miko, use your brain. Oh, here we go. There we go! What a weird place to hide a note. Karen, Alex, today's login for you know what? And a series of numbers. I'm assuming the last one, 012502, is something.
What does that mean? But that doesn't give us the key. That's still not the key. Okay. All right. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. More clues. Let's go to this corner, because it did say something about a corner. Maybe one of these? Here we go. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. Actually, well, I mean, we figured this out, you know? The two of us, the three of us, or however many of you there are. <laughs> I don't know if there's like two people sitting there watching, one person's in there watching, no people's in there watching, but we figured it out. We did good. We can use this key, we'll unlock the generator. And we know that we got the jerry cans over there. So hopefully we don't have to go back to get that, but. I mean, this is a massive generator. There we go. Open, turn on. Yeah, baby. There we go. Okay. Now let's uh, go down in here. Oh, I would also never find myself in a basement that I've never frequented ever in my life. Ooh, I forgot the code. What's the code? Do you remember the code? Zero one two five zero two. Zero, one, two, five, zero, two. You know, I'm beginning to think that that's not for that. I'm beginning to think we gotta go inside and maybe turn on the computer. That seems like, because it says on that note, it says something to do with a login. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Right? Yep, yep. Got lights. Oh yeah. I love it. Hello? I got... What's this? Ah! Oh, hello? Oh, why are you on? Who turned you on? And why? Oh, because we started the generators. <laughs> Connect the dots. Jeez Louise, Mr. Miko, what are you doing? I'm just freaking out. I just can't help myself right now. I just... Let's get this bad boy going. PS08 login. Here we go. Yeah, this is what we needed. Now we can go back to... What was it? Here we go. We're in. Oh, boy. Operation Plain Sight Facility... Eight. Established 1999. Category Plain Sight. Status Operational. Location USA. Wisconsin. Supervision Cam Walters. Staff 6. Specimen 1. Capture date 93098. What does that mean? So there's six people here. But we only have no. So we have Lee, Karen, Bill, Alex. And who else? Staff. Oh! <laughs> Cam and uh, Jamie. Okay, that makes sense. Shipments. Ooh, now we get to find out what they do. What do they ship here? January 1st, food, farm, supplies, lab supplies. May 1st, February food, 1st. lab supplies. June 1st, food, food lab supplies. Packing supplies. October 1st, not anything. Uh, I'm surprised they don't have DVDs on that list. Bulletin board. One, I keep finding these strange toys around the property. Looks like a small robot and a giant eyeball. Are you guys doing a scavenger hunt without me, Bill? Two, maybe we should use the bulletin board to communicate instead of leaving notes all over the place. Karen. Oh, Karen. Calm, Walters. Daily. Reminder to all, we need everything, and I mean everything, packed up in under two weeks. We'll be moving Jamie and the specimen on the 24th via IO3. I'm still waiting for information regarding other transfers and reassignments. I should be meeting with everyone individually no later than the beginning of the next week. So they were they were ready to leave. They said that and a specimen. Jamie and the specimen. Huh. What does that mean? 
Basement code, yeah, here we go. The code for the basement keypad is 092501. Walters has asked me to change slash update it daily, so remember to check here after you've read the bulletins, etc. Because you gotta know about the scavenger hunt. At this work environment, we're a family. <laughs> Let me know if you've ever heard that before. Our current focus is as follows. One, monitor Jamie. Two, Assist Dr. Lee with specimen research, and three, maintain site security. Shifts. Due to recent developments, we can only afford to leave one person topside on any given shift. Therefore, until further notice, Bill and Karen have day shift, and Alex will be on night shift. This is coming from the top, so if you have a problem with it, take it up with Walters. Lee. I like Lee. I like Lee. Lee seems like they know what's going on. Recent reports. One. All team members have been experiencing frequent headaches, ranging from mild to severe, Bill. Two, traffic levels are higher than normal, but still few, averaging four to five vehicles daily. Seasonal travelers, perhaps. Holidays are right around the corner, Karen. Three, we're missing a lot of metal trash cans. Six-ish? Did someone move them into the basement? Alex. Alex, I feel like Alex is that person that's just like, here for the paycheck, you know what I mean? And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Tom, Lee, daily. I know everyone's been under a lot of pressure lately, but unfortunately, I'm going to need the monthly reports finished a week early. Call me delusional, but it is my belief that there's still time to reverse this. You all want to keep your jobs, don't you? Then we need to act fast. Time is ever against us. Lee. Lee, you know what's happening. Lee knows something that's happening, and I don't know where they are. I feel like Lee would make me feel like I'm safe, but we're not safe. There's a flying alien, or monster, possibly Jamie. Jamie, if you can hear me, I'm coming into the basement. I don't need any funny business. By funny business, I mean jump scares. <laughs> Let's just do this. Let's just get this over with. We're in, baby. I love- this is- I love this. This story, I absolutely love what we got going on here. Oh, we're just going in. What is that noise? Oh, diamond-plated wall? Hello? Is that the creature? No, it's just a staircase. I think, I think we're gonna have to leave the mystery for another part. If you've enjoyed this video so far, drop a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Mr. Miko, and I'll see you in the next one.